There's phenomenal teachers there. So the idea, when you're in training, you're like surrounded by mentors. You're, everybody's excited. You're teaching all the time. You're learning all the time. There's people to back you up if something hits the fan. There's, it's just an amazing environment of learning and everybody's inspired and, and interested, high-fiving you all the time. And then when you leave, it's a destitute, it's like nothing, it's like crickets, right? So in residency, you do some amazing procedure or save and you are, you're like a hero for a moment. You can feel it and people are congratulating you. You're teaching people how to do this stuff. And then when you get out, you are pretty much alone. And so I realized that was the thing I was missing. That community aspect of taking care of people at the same time. Everybody's in the sinking ship together when it's, when it's crazy and you're all high-fiving each other when you do something amazing and when there's a train wreck. And so uh, I missed that. Coming back, that really fulfilled something. And what I realized was when, we, when I went back to that environment, how much that was missing in my outside world. And that's because a lot of the education that was available just was horrible at the time. And so I'm required to sort of keep up with all of my education and stay up to date and do all that stuff. But at the time when we started the company, we, there was a stark contrast between what you get in a training environment with all these people and all this wonderful stuff and everybody cares so deeply to what you get on the outside, which is basically boring, afterthought, biased, horrible stuff. And so that's when I realized it was, it's, it's something, it's a, there's a nobility to being able to teach people and how much these people who are taking care of these humans that I cared so much about and their own humanity needed the support of something good, some good education and some human education to help them take care of us, like as the patients, help those people, those people of medicine, help the people of the universe that are out there fighting, you know, that are out there suffering. So in order for these people to take care of these people's suffering, you've got to support these people in a deep, deep way. And I don't think that there's a lot of support for the clinician in society. And I don't think anybody knows that. I don't think anybody thinks about that. I think you think, that clinician must make a lot of money. Look at that, they're driving a BMW. They're, we're expecting them to take care of themselves. They can't, they're overworked. Even more now than ever before, they're like, they're brutalized. And the amount of burnout that's happening is, is disgusting. 